right, we're going up in the attic. We'll talk more about what we're doing when we get there. But you clicked on this video, so you already know. Not fun up here. All right, well, we're in the attic. Oh, can you guys see anything? Probably not. We're in the attic. Um, it's not fun up here. I installed this 110 uh, GFI outlet. You probably can't see it right down here. Yesterday. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly just get just get right into this because we're installing a six-inch duct inline duct fan. You clicked on this video, so you know what that is. So there's no reason to go into all the hoopla and what this, that, and everything. I watch too many videos with too many people that talk too much. So let's just get into installing this thing. Now the six inch duct is right behind me here. I don't know how well you could see anything, but there is not a lot of room in this attic. So I'm going to install it somewhere, probably right up in here. I'm gonna Gorilla tape the crap out of it, and then we're gonna plug it in. So let's get right to it. Oh, if I can. I might blind you at times, but that's just gonna, we're just gonna have to deal with it because this is not, I'm not having fun up here. It's 150,000 degrees. Um, the, uh, I can't plug my gable fan in. I'll show you why, check this out. This is my gable fan. Yeah, that's why we can't plug that in. Like, I gotta replace it. Something is not kosher with it. Okay, so how am I gonna? And you know what sucks? Is I don't think you guys have enough battery juice. So I'm gonna have to go down, charge you, and then come back up. I gotta charge you for this. <laughs> All right. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut the duct. We're just, we're not gonna be stupid about it. We're just gonna cut the duct. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. We already cut through it. And it's gonna feel so good in here. And just, just a minute, we're gonna have cold. Oh, oh my God! There's not a lot of air, but there's some, and it feels so nice. That's why we're doing this because there's not a lot of air. That's my hot water line that I gotta work on still. Oh yeah. Oh, at least my hands, my hands feel amazing right now. All right. We need to cut the wire, because this is a flex duct and it's got a wire in it. Okay, wire's cut. All the stuff is cut. There you go. You guys ever want to know what a flex duct look like inside? That's kind of what it looked like. We gotta cut around the back here. You know what, can we just go right through? Oh, I don't want to cut the hot water line. That would really, really ruin my weekend. All right. Oh my God. Oh, that feels so nice. Good, good time to look in the, the guy, there's a lot of dust in here. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna slide, just slap this bad boy on here. Like a glove. Of course it's not going to be easy. I should have brought my crimpers up here because this end is not crimped and it's going to be a tight fit, but it's okay because like I said, we're going to Gorilla Tape the snot out of this thing. Just want to make sure I got the airflow going in the right direction. Get some more of this exposed. That's a 
ventilation out of the way. I'm not going to complain too much about having more cold air in my face. Because it is horrible up here, guys. Just horrible. Alright, we're on. Yes, indeed, 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 do we are. Oh God, I don't. I don't want to fuss with it any more than I have to. Let me sit this down. Will it stay on? Yes, it will. Okay. How are you guys holding up over there? You probably can't even see what I'm doing. I'm like. Pointed in the wrong direction or something. I'm just gonna get a few pieces of tape around here, just so I don't foobar it all up and lose it. Before we're done, we'll tape the snot out of it. I'll pull that insulation back over it too. I'm guessing the cooling of the motor is gonna come from the. Uh, I don't know, the cold air coming through there, I'm guessing, I Dare I guess that, that, well. All right. This Gorilla Tape is some stuff. I'll tell you, if you guys don't have a roll of this, get a roll of Gorilla Tape. Trust me. We need to install, before we're done, we need to install a uh, probe in the duct as well, which that's not going to be that big of a deal. Just a matter of <laughs> the blades turning. That's funny. Just a matter of sticking the probe down in there. I just don't want to bend any of this cheap Chinese sheet metal while I'm taping this. It worries me because the, the force of the air coming out of the HVAC system is turning the blade. So <laughs> you, stick, you stick your finger in there and the blade kind of hits it and it kind of gives, gives you a scare. All right. Now let me think about this for a quick sec. I gotta get the. Oh, that's a Willy, Will I, Will I. WH1436 digital temperature controller is what we're going to use to control this bad boy up here. It's got this probe here, which we're going to insert. <laughs> we're going to insert the probe. All right. Age restrict my video right now. Oh, jeez, come on. I can already feel myself getting drenched with sweat, and it's not a good feeling. I don't like addicts, guys. I just, I don't know. Call me weird, I just don't like them. <laughs> I wanna put this guy in the downstream area. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little piece of Gorilla Tape. Gonna stick her right in there. Tape it to the inside of the duct. Right. Now we install this side and we're done, eh? Well, we gotta, you know, we gotta put the power and everything up, and we gotta, we gotta seal everything up still. So we're we're a ways from being done, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Come on. You get it. Now I realize before anybody says anything about my rudimentary uh, duct work here, I realize I am not a trained professional. Oh, and Gorilla Tape is tough. And I realize that I'm probably not doing things efficiently right now. I also realize that I don't much care because this is gonna do the job it's meant to do. This addition that this line goes to, has it's the farthest away from the system, and the system just flat wasn't designed to have another bank in it. 
In fact, right to the left of you, yes, your left um, is a Y coming off an eight inch line that, that that's, comes from our kitchen. So yeah, this, this room is not supposed to be here. But it is, so we gotta deal with it. I'm not gonna worry about dealing with this taping up this insulation right now um, I just want to get this thing hooked up and get out of here to be honest and then we'll you know another day what do you think should we plug it in real quick see how she runs we'll just plug it into the raw power and see what happens eh? Oh, that's gonna make a huge difference. Huge difference, guys. You guys still running over there? Oh, man. Why do I feel cold air, though? I don't like that. All right. Let's get our Willy thermometer hooked up here. Plug her in, first and foremost. Power it up. Oh shoot, I almost fell. I would've went right through the ceiling. What's E, E, E Fahrenheit mean? five in there now 60.6 because the system just shut off are you guys still running over there you are I am dripping with sweat up here holy crap all right the temperature is rising pretty quick because uh because the AC just shut off I got to get off my foot it's killing me I'm not gonna make it down from here. My foot's falling asleep and I can't, oh, I can't feel it no more. Oh, we're just gonna stand like this for a minute, guys. Woo! It's pretty bad up here. I'll show you if I can. Without falling. You see the temperatures climbing? Now when that hits 85, this fan should shut off. Please, I make it work because I got to get down from here. 73, 1, 2, 3, 4. Come on. I definitely need to make some adjustments to it. Seventy five five. Mm 
Good Lord. So I'm going to shut you guys off and see if this thing works. I'm going to start hauling some tools out of the attic here. See what your battery's at anyway. All right, guys. Get you set up so you can see this conglomeration I got going now. Controllers down there. Fans right here. I got my phone. So glad we got a smart house so I can adjust the air from right here. Let's see what happens. Thermostat. Let's turn you down. Okay. There it goes. You hear it kick on? So we're at 82.5 or 82.6 in the pipe now. 82.7, 82.8. It's pushing out hot air from the line. 83. It's going to start going down. 82.9. There we go. We're going down. We're dropping. I believe I have it set for 75. That this, this fan should turn on when it hits 75 degrees. We're at 81, 8, 87, 6, 5, 4, 3. We're dropping quick. Now we're going to shut this fan off. You guys, your battery's almost dead, so. Yeah, you're only at like 30%. Okay, we're at 79. 78 degrees. 77. Seventy-six. Here we go. Any minute now, it's going to turn on. If it works. <clears throat> Seventy-five, six. Okay, we've dropped below. Set. We're at seventy-four and a half now. What's going on? Seventy-three. Nothing. Maybe I said it. Seventy-two, actually. God, I don't remember now. Yeah, I set it at 72. It just kicked on at 72. You see that? So I must have the off at 75. So that kicks on at 72. Let's turn it up now. Okay, system just kicked off. Still blowing cold air. Okay, the air is blowing his heat. Now I can't wait to get down in the house and see how this feels. Okay, it's climbing pretty quick now. 69, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. Okay, oh yeah, it's climbing real quick. 71. 72. 73. When it hits 75, it should shut off. 74. Here we go. 75. Shuts off. Perfect. Oh my god, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. This is so stinking miserable. Oh. Hey guys, I'm glad you can come along. Actually, let's show you down. Down, let's go down, back downstairs. No, downstairs, out of the attic. Let's get out of the attic and uh, see what it's like down there. All right, you guys, let's test it. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I got it on now. I cannot feel any flow. This is about... I don't know, nine feet, eight feet, nine feet off the ground. I can't feel any flow right now coming out of it. I know the system's on because I just turned it on. I could see some of the little, see a little spider web moving. All right, we'll let it run for a minute and we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so it's definitely blowing now. Um, 
Not as much air as I thought though. For 240 CFM, there's not a lot of extra air coming out of this vent, but there is a little, and that might be all that we need. Can I feel it from the ground now? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So that might be all that we need. Um, it's 82.8 in this room right now. 82.8 over here, we'll see what it does. Well, just in case this works amazing when we find out, or it doesn't, I'll show you which ones I bought, and I'll put links in the description for you guys to get these two. This is the Vivo Sun 6-inch inline duct fan, 240 CFM, HVAC exhaust ventilation fan, low noise, basement, bathroom, kitchen, and attic, silver. Um, low noise, yeah, it's not that loud. I don't believe the 240 CFM, I'll tell you right now, but for under 35 bucks, right now it's 13% uh, off. Um, but yeah, we'll see. And then here you have the WH1436A 10 amp, 110 volt temperature controller that we have it hooked up to. This is currently 2879, 10% off. Um, I will tell you guys, I didn't read any instructions on either one of these to get them set up. I would like to think I have a basic knowledge to tinker, so maybe that helped out. But anyway, I'll leave a link in the description for both of these guys so you guys can pick them up if you want.